Hello YouTube and welcome to another OPN Sense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure CrowdSec on OPN Sense. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on one of my previous videos, I showed you how actually to install and configure CrowdSec on PFSense. So here we'll be doing actually the same but this time using OPN Sense, okay? So first of all, let me log on to my uh, OPN Sense uh, firewall here, okay? So actually, uh, OPN Sense has integrated solution, which is an IDS IPS, on its uh, firewall, okay? So if you go to your system or actually services, you can see here there is intrusion detection service but by default it's not actually running and it uses actually Suricata under the hood okay so now we're gonna actually use CrowdSec which is an alternative for this intrusion detection intrusion prevention system and it's a lightweight solution okay because the intrusion detection used by OPSense consume a lot of our resources and sometimes it doesn't work good especially if you have one interface using PPPoE actually a protocol okay so we're gonna install it and configure it okay so actually CrowdSec is a solution that offers strong security measures okay so it's a bunch of IPs that are malicious and prevent actually malicious IPs from attacking your system so if you want to take a look at it, you can go to the official uh, website of CrowdSec. Here it is. So this is the official website, crowdsec.net. So you can take a look at it and learn more about it. Okay. So here we're going to actually move on to our uh, OpenSense firewall and install it. Okay. So the install procedure is actually almost the same like uh, PFSense. So actually it installed via a plugin. So we go to our system menu here, firmware, okay, and we go to plugins. Then on the plugin search, you type CrowdSec, okay. Here it is. So here you can see that I'm using version 1.0.9, okay. So let's click on this plus button here in order to install this plugin. Here we go. So you can see here, new packages will be installed, CrowdSec and CrowdSec Firewall Bouncer, which is actually responsible for blocking these IP addresses. So let's wait for the installation to complete. And here we go, you can see the service CrowdSec is enabled and CrowdSec is also enabled at the start or at the boot time, okay? So now if we refresh our page, a new menu under services will be actually added. So let's go now to our services here. And you can see here a new menu called CrowdSec has been added and we'll be using this menu in order to configure actually our CrowdSec plugin. So let's click on this CrowdSec menu here and let's go to the settings, okay? So here you will see a bunch of info about CrowdSec so you can see the documentation, the blog, the console, okay? The GitHub repository and a lot of things. So if you want to know more about CrowdSec you can just click on any link here, okay? But for us let's go directly to the settings and of course here you have to enable log processor which is by default enabled so this is our intrusion detection system we can also enable L API okay and enable remediation component which is IPS so this is the service responsible for blocking this malicious attacks actually so if you want just to see the alert and not to block them you can disable the service but we want actually to block these IPs so we have to activate 
this IPS here, okay? So by default, all the options are good, okay? So nothing here to uh, change. So let's just apply the settings in order to save them, okay? So as you can see here, the settings have been saved and service restarted, okay? So let's now move on to the overview submenu under settings. Here we go. So here we have a list of actually the machines. So it's running on our local machine, which is our local host here. So latest update is a few seconds ago. Okay, we have here the version, okay? So here we have another menu, which is the bouncers. So this is the service, as I told you, responsible for blocking this malicious attacks. There is another menu here called collections. So you can see here the different collections that are installed by default with this CrowdSec, okay? And also we have some scenarios that are enabled by, the te uh, by default. So for example, here you can see the description of each scenario. So for the first one, it detects brute force on OpenSense web interface. The second one detects SSH brute force. The third one detects exploitation attempts. And there are other also two, okay? We have also the parcels, which are just actually files that contain this IP addresses that we have to block. And for us, the most inter interesting menu is this alert. So you have to take a look at it from time to time in order to see if there is an attack, okay? And if you want to test that CrowdSec is working, so actually there is a command that you can execute in order to test that. So I will try to connect to my uh, OpenSense firewall using SSH. Here we go. And I will go to the shell. So it's number eight. Then I will execute this command here. And here I will paste my public IP address, okay? So this is the full command, so let's execute it. So info decision successfully added. Okay, so now let's go actually to our firewall here. And here we go, you can see now under the menu alerts, a new value has been added, which is manual ban from localhost. And this is of course our public IP address and the decision is a ban, okay? Which means our CrowdSec service is working properly, okay? Also, I didn't tell you, but when you actually enable this CrowdSec service, a bunch of things happen to your system. First of all, a bunch of CrowdSec IP addresses has been added as aliases. So if we go to our firewall here, aliases, you can see this two aliases has been added, CrowdSec blacklist, which is IPv4 addresses. And also CrowdSec version 6 IP addresses, okay? And another thing has been added is actually some firewall rules. So if you go to rules and floating rules actually, and if I expand this 11 rules here, you can see some rules has been added to actually our firewall, which are the same block list for IPv4 and IPv6, okay? So that was just a brief video to show you how to install and configure CrowdSec on OpenSense. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Of course, if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.